Hey peoples, Briarfan here. Coming at you with a pipe roll review. I purchased this pipe roll on Etsy through Shaman Leathers. Uh, if you get a chance, go check him out. I'll put uh, his web address down in the bucket there so you can, or down the box so you can uh, be able to get to him. As you can see, this pipe roll, it's made of leather, it's handmade, okay? Um, and I'm going to go through some of the features on the inside. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, roll it up so you can see what it looks like rolled. But um, I'm not, I don't do leather work, so I don't have any of the technical terms. But what I can show you is that it's basically suede side on the inside and then it's smooth on the outside. And uh, you leather people out there, you guys that work with leather a lot could probably help me out a little bit with that. But So as you can see right here, you have a place, one loop, it's kind of big. It has a uh, large area there and it's made perfectly to fit a pouch of tobacco. Okay, so I don't carry much Captain Black with me or Borkum Riff or Half and Half or any of the pouch tobaccos with me. So I asked the owner of the of the store to make these pipe tobacco pouches for me. And he what he did basically is he gave me the same leather, same color, and he made the dimensions off of this loop right here. And two snaps. The only uh, problem I have with it is that there's no lining on the inside. So if you do put a tobacco in there, I would suggest humidity discs, and that's what I've been using is uh, humidity humid discs in it, and it actually keeps it for quite a long time. And the measurements are made just to slide right in there. Then as you can see right here, you have three small loops for your pipes. This is the way that I pack it. These are not the pipes that I normally pack in here, uh, but this is the way I pack it for everyday use. Then you can see you have your long pocket here that's very slim and it holds about 10 to 15 pipe cleaners. Then you have the shorter packet or pocket. What goes in here is your pipe tool or your tamper. I always just slide my tiny tamper down in there like that so I can reach it and pull it out when I need to. And then in this pocket with the snap right here, okay, which comes open as you can see, and I'm going to pull out my Zippo pipe lighter. And what I noticed about this is it's actually very much made for a Zippo pipe lighter. You can see that it's all hand stitched. Every pocket is hand stitched and there every loop is. Overall, it's a very uh, pleasing to look at. Uh, I noticed that when I do post a picture of it on my Instagram, a lot of people like to uh, comment on it or at least uh, tell me that it looks nice. So now that we've got everything in there, what we're gonna do is we're set up for the day we're going to go ahead and push my pipe lighter back down there, snap it up. I'm going to ensure that all the pipes are in there, snug and ready to roll. Okay. And notice I have two bowls up, one bowl down. Now the way you're looking at it is the way that I would look at it when I'm packing it. I'm actually upside down to it. So basically two pipes on top, one pipe on the bottom. Okay. Let me move my props here. Then you have these two flaps on the outside that are sewed along the edge as you can see and what these do I believe is are made to protect the bowls and anything else that's put in there and as you can see that works out quite well on this side there's a reinforced it's folded over and stitched on the sides and it has somewhat of a pocket although I don't think that's what it was made for and he has his uh, stamp inside there and it says shaman um, so what I use that for is basically my start of my roll. So we turn it just like this and we start rolling. So we do the one flip, hold down on your straps here, on your flaps, flip, and then you allow the pipes to make the roll for you. You can't force this obviously because we can't bend briar too well with our hands. And it has this long strap as you can see. You take one wrap, make sure that you don't cover the snap right there on the front. You take the second wrap, then you snap it down. There you go. And there's your pipe roll. As you can see on the very front there, shaman leathers, put the stamp of my initials on there. 
So guys, that is my pipe roll that you see in my Instagram photos. I hope you enjoyed the little review of it. It's a great pipe roll. I carry it every day. Um, it does carry, <clears throat> you know, three pipes to get me through the day and then, you know, one tobacco. One thing I have learned is that you can add extra packages of tobacco in here if you don't want to smoke the same tobacco all day. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. Overall price, I believe I paid for three tobacco pouches and the pipe roll was $135 and uh, that was um, shipped. And it comes out of Turkey. If you do order one, okay, go to Etsy, Shaman Leatherworks, and you order one, it takes a little bit of time to get there. So unfortunately, if you order one today, you're probably not going to get one for Christmas. Okay, so, uh, but go give him a look. He's a great guy. He was great to do business with. I paid him through PayPal, and uh, it was simple. He did everything I asked him to do, and he communicates only by, you know, he communicated back and forth with me very well through email. So, guys, we'll see you later on in another video. Till then, take her easy.